Very warm welcome to this, the finals of the 2013 French International here in Orléans, France. I'm Mark Freeland for Babington Europe TV and uh, wherever that you are, over. across Europe and across One. the world, I hope you'll enjoy the coverage here of these five finals. First match on court, as you can see, mixed doubles final in orange for Scotland. One. Imogen Bankier and Robert Blair. Two, left. And in white, representing Denmark, Nicholas Noor and Sarah Tigerson. The Scots, the defending champions from last year. And this a first time final oh, yeah, for Sarah and Nicholas. Oh, sorry. Fantastic lineup we have for you today. The second match on court will be the women's singles defending champion and top seed Beatrice Corrales against Hashina Vinaswaran of France, the home favourite. Third match will be the women's doubles. Bankier will be back alongside Nedalcheva against the Stoy of his sisters. Men's singles will follow, and the final match of the finals here in Orléans will be the men's doubles. Adam Swalina, Premise of Vaca 
against Bastien Cassodi and Gitan Mittelheiser of France. Slight delay, technical hitch with the scoring system. Not a good way to start, but certainly a fantastic atmosphere here in the hall. Again, in excess of 1,000 supporters, 1,000 French fans here. And they'll be looking to see Sashina win in the women's singles and also the men's doubles in the final match of the day. So the scoring system uh, just getting sorted. These two played each other once before and it was a victory at the beginning of the season back in September in Belgium for Blair and Bankier. Two game win, 12 and 14 on that occasion. So certainly the Scottish duo, the hot favourites to retain their title. And again, slight delay here, pity about it, just uh, sit tight, just technical officials just trying to fix the score, sometimes these things happen, especially when you change setup from a setup that has been uh, consistent all week, moving cables, courts, screens, for a one court setup in the final is always uh, liable to throw up some few technical glitches. So Blair and Bank here, really outstanding form this season, except the last couple of weeks was a little bull on their copybooks. Early defeats at the Swiss Open and the All England, of course. But the week before, had that fantastic win at the German Open Grand Prix gold. And before that, in January, also the Swedish Masters in Uppsala. And won their home Grand Prix in Scotland in November. The very beginning of the season in September, won the very first tournament on the circuit, the Babala Kharkov International. And of course, as I said, winner here last year in France. Yes, so glitch is sorted. We're back and ready no, to go. No, one all. You change it. No, 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 no. No, you you, st you start serving at the beginning. So, so service over one low, service over one all. No. no? The other way around. Correct. We won the first one. So. No, <laughs> Sarah pointing out that the uh, serve receive order is incorrect. That's it. Yes, but I have to switch. Yes. And it's hoping we get this sorted and get this match underway because we really have an exciting lineup in a really good venue and a really good atmosphere. That's right. Sorry. One or play. And the first real rally of the match and a good rally from the Danes. And the scoring system working correctly. 2-1 to the Danes. 
Merci de déconnecter les flashs de vos appareils photo pour ne pas déranger les joueurs, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Oh Three, one. Best result that Tigerson and Noor have had was semi-final at the Italian Open, same wow. level tournament as this French international. And that was back oh, in December. Wow. Oh, sorry, correction. Two, three. And previous to that, quarter-final at the Belgian international. So uh, this is a first for Tigerson and Noor. Sure to be some nerves against the vastly experienced Scottish duo Bankier, of course. World Championship silver medalist in 2011. And Blair, world silver in 2006 for Madrid. Three, oh. Scots were pushed hard by Dutch pair Jorrit de Ritter and Samantha Barning taking the three games in the semi-final. And had a difficult time in the second round also against another Danish pair, Wool and Hansen, again taking the three games, so certainly have not had it all their own way. Server's fault called against Sarah. Danes took out French pair fourth seed Baptiste Kerem and Antran in the semi final. Yeah. The big win for them was beating second seed Max Five. Schwinger and Carla Nelta in three games in the quarter final. Uh. Six, four. Heavy silver. Five, six. So this match is still just struggling to find the spark. Certainly, the early technical break has affected all four players on court. Mentally, would have been ready to get going in an almost a five-minute delay while they sorted out the technical issues. There's Bankier at her best coming in for the kill at the net. Six, oh. Yeah. Oh, string on for Sarah. Seven, six. Completely mistimed. Actually, no string gone. Sounded like a string popping in her racket. Service over. Seven all. An experience, certainly a key factor in a match like this. As I said, Play. completely different lighting and environment for this final. Players have been used to a full venue lighting system all week seven with five seven. courts. Eight, seven. So, might just take a little bit of getting used to. But certainly Blair and Bankier have been there before and done it all. Flick serve from Bankier. Tigerson going for the interception and missing. Nine, seven.
10, 7. Three points in a row on the serve of Image and Bank here. Putting a little bit of daylight between the Scots and the Danes. Again, super wrist cross court from Robert Blair. An easy kill in the end. Seven, seven in trouble. For Bank here, and four points in a row takes the Scots into the interval lead. Seven minutes gone, 11 7. Eleven seven. Play. So eleven seven. Again, the flick serve from Image and Bank here. Twelve seven. A little bit of luck for Nicholas Noor, certainly didn't catch that one clean. Shuttle coming off the frame. We're getting just a little bit of good luck and good fortune. Nine, twelve. Service over. 13, 9. And the crowd getting involved, starting to clap. Game just a little bit flat at the moment. Nine minutes gone. Again, Nicholas Noor. Clipping the neck cord with the shuttle. Oh, good defense from the Danes. Oh yes, great disguise on the punch clear from Robert Blair. Great variation from the experienced Scott. 14, nine. Sarah, you receive it. Another really good example of an attacking shot that does not necessarily have to be a smash or a drop. Flick to the female from Blair and a flatter flick to Sarah this time. A little bit of nerves, I feel, on 15, the Danish nine. side of the court. Daylight now in this first game between the Scots and the Danes. Sarah Tigas and herself, a Danish national champion a few years back when she partnered on the Scarab Rasmussen to the Danish national title. Ten fifteen. Oh, superb defense again from Nicholas. With the smash over. from Blair really. The accuracy right into the hip, so difficult 16, to defend. 10. Oh, 
Oh. That is over. Eleven sixteen. A better rally from Tigerson and Noor. Maybe five, six years ago, Robert Blair certainly would have got to that shuttle a little bit earlier. Out. The call from Bankier is over. to leave it. I think Robert just caught a little bit on his w unawares, didn't expect that shuttle to come at shoulder height. Oh. Yeah, frustration that from Nicholas, over. tossing the racket in the air. 19-12. So the Scots edging closer to this first game. It's over. 13-19. Good aggressive return of serve from Nicholas. Oh, a poor oh, flick over. against Imogen Bankier, who is so quick to get back behind those flick serves. Game point, 13. Takes the Scottish duo to game point after 14 minutes. Yeah, that's it in the end. Again, it's the excellence of Bankier in and around the net. And after a cagey start, of course, First disrupted by technical issue. By Robert Blair and Imogen Bankier, 21-13. Both pairs trading points early on. And then a run of four points in a row on the serve of Jim Bankier. Certainly put daylight between the Scots and the Danes. And they never really looked back from there. A nervous looking Danish duo in white. As I said, a first for them, their first international challenge final. Sarah certainly needs to get in, get in around the net and take the net away from Imogen, which is a very difficult task for anybody. But it's something she's going to have to do if the Danes are going to get anything out of this match. Second game. Lovell. Play. Oh, confusion on the Danish side of the net. One love. A little bit of hesitancy from Sarah. And again, the power smash from Robert Blair. Steep angle at the feet of Sarah Jigerson. 
Imogen Bank, you're ready and waiting for the kill. Just down. Service Bank, you're failing to find the baseline. One, two. Two all. Three quick points in succession for the Danes. Three, two. Nice variation that time from Nicholas Knorr, serving to the backhand side of Robert Blair. And again, too easy for Bankieri in and around the net. Three, two. four. Out. Service over. Five, three. Hesitancy from Robert Blair. Thought about leaving it and then taking it at the Six, last second. Three. Better from the Danish duo. Momentum just starting to shift a little bit. Seven, three. Uh -huh. Misjudgment from Blair. Soft net shot from Eight, Nicholas Knorr, three. landing right on the line. Him again. The Scots only won one point in the last eight. Service over. Four, eight. Yeah, and you can certainly see the tactic from the Danes pushing Imogen Bankier away from the net. That is over. 9-4. Service over. Five, nine. I think Sarah can count herself just a little bit unlucky on that occasion. A really good serve. And the flat drive is clearing the baseline. Oh. And the push from Bank here into the body of Nicholas Noah. Six, nine.
Oh, yes. Superb over. change of direction from Sarah. Blair expecting to smash down the forehand side. But Sarah Tigerson going cross court. Another misjudgment from the Scots. From nowhere. Danes have the interval lead 11 6, 22 minutes gone. And a good spell from the Danish duo, tactically getting things right. You'll see them forcing Imogen Bank here away from the net. And the body language just looking a little bit um, not negative, but the Scots certainly looking a little bit more worried in this second game. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. So the match itself still Play. waiting to find the spark. The crowd doing their best. To encourage the players. Very knowledgeable crowd here at the French International. And big crowds for a circuit event. In excess of a thousand spectators yesterday and again today. In this fantastic arena for badminton in Orleans. Service over. 7 11. And the French International organizers put a huge effort into organizing every single little detail from transport to you feel an atmosphere in the hall, lights and lasers and music, providing a key part to the entertainment package that is on offer here. Eight, eleven. Robert Blair seizing the initiative. First of all, with the backhand push into the body of Nicholas Snow and then killing it at the net. Closing the gap to two. Superb serve from Bank here, going out wide. That is over. Not a good point in the Danes hanging in in that rally. 12-10. It's 
Have you sober? 13, 11. Savvy Sober, 12, 13. 13 all. And the Scots tied up at 13 0 with the drive into the body of Nicholas Knorr. Play. <laughs> Savvy Sober. 14, 13. Oh, that be so simple over. smash down the middle. Sarah certainly showed that she 14, was going to take oh. it. The split second hesitancy from Nicholas and an easy winner in the end for Robert Blair 14 all Debbie Sauber <laughs> 15 14 certainly not much space down that forehand side for a smash winner Brave shot from Nicholas. The clash of rackets from the Scots. And two quick points from the Danes. 15 14. Over. 15, 16. Idea was certainly right from Nicholas. Opportunity was there to drive the shuttle cross court. Good serve. 16. Sarah would certainly be a little bit disappointed with the return and as quick as the Danes established that two point lead the Scots have closed the gap again level it up at 16 all Patience in defence from Blair and Bank here. 17 16. And what a crucial time just to edge in front. And again, 18, clever flick. 16. Sarah just talking to herself a little bit disappointed with the execution of that clear four points in a row now for Imogen Bank here. Uh, 
Thank you so much. Seventeen, eighteen. Great disguise on that shot from Nicholas. <laughs> it's not every day you 18. see that oh. complete miss hit from Robert Blair. Racket change. Great disguise on the flick serve and a brave thing to do from Sarah Tegerson. 1918. And from nowhere, the Danes have edged back in front. A good Thank call from over. Robert to his partner, letting Imogen know it was out. 19 oh. Blair catching the net court and a good block defense cross court and it's the Danes who get the game point first that is over 20 game point 19 Oh, and it's out. The lift from Robert Blair landing just centimeters over the baseline. Net result is a second game second win game for Danish duo. 21 19. 21 19. Let's know on Sarah Tegerson. Good spirited fight back from the Danes. So we go to a deciding game. Looking around, crowd still coming into this arena. They're certainly looking forward to the French participation in these finals. Sashina Vinas Waran coming up in the next match, of course, against defending champion Beatrice Corrales. In the final match of the day, also featuring French participants in the men's doubles pairing. Gatan Mittelheiser and Bastian Kelsodi. Second 
The Danes again getting off to a good start. That is over. That's where Banky are so good. That's her area One in around more. the net. Return of Sarah from Sarah. Two, one. Scampering rubber player across court. That is over. To all. For once, Imogen Bank here just a little bit undecided. Not push forward at the net, and they're neither far enough back in defense. Again, there's that wrist from Blair. Holding, holding, over. moving Nor, and then playing across court into the open space. Three, two. Certainly an opportunity for Sarah. Four, she will be very two. disappointed. Save it's over. Three, four. And a defensive block from Sarah Tegason, just clipping the baseline. Oh, yes, well played, Nicholas. Imogen Bank here slipping mid rally didn't four, do the Scots four. any favours. Super defense. Best rally of the match so far, for sure. And in the end, the Danes coming through and coming good. And a clenched fist from Nicholas Noor in celebration.
And this time, Sara taking Imogen on at the net and winning. Six, four. Danish Bear certainly starting to grow in confidence. Hesitation again from Robert. Oh, wrong shot that choice that time from Sarah for sure. Five, six. Quick break allowed by the umpire. Five, six, play. Six, all. Not quite sure what Nicholas was trying to attempt. <coughs> Certainly, it was a net shot with a little bit of deception. Failing on the execution. And again, when Bankier has the opportunities Seven, at the six. net, generally she puts them away. Good technique from Imogen, Eight, rack it up. Six. Third point in the rally, so important in doubles, mixed doubles. Again, electing to serve out wide to Sara. Oh, scampering block from Bankier. There, you see how she reads the game so well. So, the next over. shot coming from Noor, but then an error from Bank Seven, here. Eight. It's been a heavy, heavy schedule for Imogen Bank here over the course of the last couple of months. Fatigue, both mentally and physically, certainly playing a factor and playing its part in her performances in the last over. couple of weeks. Wasn't happy with her performance in Poland last week in the women's doubles. Elected to come here. Nine, just try and uh, get some feeling alongside Petya. Which they've done and they're in a final later of course. Crouch defense again from the Scott. Over. Eight, nine. Service over. <laughs> Ten, eight. And well left from Robert Blair, but Nicholas 11, arguing 8, the point. 8, 7, 10, Robert was influencing the line judge. But the resulting point is an 11-8 lead for the Scots, but certainly Bankier and Blair know that they're in a right ding-dong battle against these Danes. Finding it so difficult to put them away. After a good first set win, winning the 13, you certainly would have expected Blair and Bankier to go on and win comfortably. But 
great fight back in the second from the Danes. And the Scots will know, even though they have this three point advantage. 20 Danish seconds. Two are going to come hard and fast at them in the second half of this third deciding game. Les dix derniers points de cette première finale vont se jouer maintenant. 11, 8. Play. Scott's just injecting a little bit of pace into the rally. Yes. Service over. Nine, eleven. And a clever disguise on that punch clear from Nicholas Knorr. Wasn't a bad serve, Nicholas, but just very, very quick from Bankier to get back behind the shuttle. And get such a steep angle. Again, the flick. It's, uh, Sarah Tigerson pushed to the rear. Savvy over. Uncharacteristic image in bank here in this match so far. 10, 12. A lot of indecision on her shots. A good spectacle for the crowd, but certainly not unusual to see Image and Bank here flat on the floor and playing the shuttle back across the net. minutes just ticking over is a two-point lead for the Scots Play. and the umpire encouraging both pairs to play certainly top level badminton over. the time between 12, points 13. tending to get longer and longer and longer these days in badminton supposed to be continuous of course oh misjudging from Nicholas and he holds his hand to his head 14 12 pinpoint accuracy from Blair Great flick serve from Robert Blair. Only a half court lift. And the smash. And then the follow up at the net from Bank here. Textbook badminton. 15 12. Service over. 
Superb pull across court from Robert Blair. Oh. You can see the frustration in the body language 14, from Imogen Bank here. 15. That smash nowhere near going over. Fifteen up. No way that was coming back. Stick smash from rubber player always landing on the service line. 15. Three, four errors in succession from Imogen Bank oh. here. Really handing their opponents a lifeline in this game. 16 all. Oh, Sarah, very unfortunate. 17, 16. Every point now, a big point. Nice block from Nicholas for the winner. And still, they match each other point for point. It's really about now who wants it most. Clever switch cross court from Robert Blair. Good rally. Oh. Oh, what play from Bank here. Off balance and playing the net. Playing the net so well. Stumbling backwards and still managing to play such an effective shot. 18 17. Seventeen. Oh, yes. Superb serve from Banky and then hunting the net for the winner. Crucial time to take a two point advantage. Service over. 18, 19. Certainly wasn't a bad flick serve from Imogen. Robert would feel he sh certainly should have done better. With the return from Sarah Tegason. Pressure serve from Nicholas Noor. And just buckling under the pressure. Nicholas and it takes Blair and Bankier to championship point. point 18.
Yeah, yeah. And that's it. They've done it. They've retained their title here in France. Certainly not vintage player and bank year. But it shows their true class to be able to do it. And uh, good performance from Noor and Tegerson. Three set win for Blair and Bank here. Stay tuned. We'll be back with a short interview. And then the women's singles, Sashila Venus Warren against Beatrice Corrales. Match won by Robert Blair and Imogen Bankier, 21 13, 19 21, 21 18. Hey, chers amis du public, on va pour cette première finale de l'Euro! Robert Imogen, uh, many congratulations and uh, Imogen, not vintage player and bank here, but you've done it all the same. Yeah, I think it was an important match for us and uh, yeah, they, they played really, really well today and we really struggled uh, at certain points, and, but just in the end we played the last few points quite well and uh, yeah, delighted to come away with the win. You played them once before, Robert, I remember, and uh, the much improved Danish player. What have you got to say about your opponents today? Yeah, I was very impressed. The first game we took control and I think it took them a little while to organise themselves and get their tactics right, but they really played on our weaknesses and made it quite difficult for us. And as Imogen said, we were, I mean, lucky just in the last few, we put some good, quick, sort of quality points together. Otherwise, it was really anybody's. To retain your title is always a very difficult thing to do in any tournament. What does it mean to retain this title, Imogen? Yeah, it's amazing and it's quite special for us as well because it was our first title and first tournament back playing together. So we're really keen to keep that and we want to uh, have good form against the European Championships as well. So absolutely delighted. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation please, Robert Blair and Imogen Bankier. Thank you. 
ministre, par M. André Cotard de la société de partenaire Actior. Merci, merci beaucoup aux officiels techniques, Jean-Pierre. Thanks for Jean-Pierre, thank you. Allez, please. Allez, la photo souvenir. Et s'il vous plaît, une fois encore, je vous demande un tonnerre d'applaudissements et de plus bien de pour la photo. La photo officielle de cette. Thank you very much for that. Et oui, il reviendra l'année prochaine, il sera là et il espère pouvoir conserver son titre peut-être une troisième fois. Super, on les applaudit. Vainqueur 2013, vainqueur 2014, c'est Prometheus en 2015. Allez, 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 là, avis du public, échauffez-vous. Donnez ta foi, donnez les mains à l'arrivée du ski. Le prochain match, François, va être vraiment à très très haute tension, puisque c'est sûr, c'est sûr, un match qui va encore plus augmenter la température. Après le premier match, on est sûr que la tête est 